intercepted it, by Cam Taylor Britt. Nice. And that is officially Coffin Nails. Bam, bam, bam. The name of the game has been balance, as the Bengals have found different ways to win during this franchise record 10 game win streak. And as history has shown, to have the best shot at being the last team standing, you have to be a complete team. The Bengals enter conference championship weekend with both a top 10 scoring offense and defense. Meanwhile, the Chiefs may bring in the league's top scoring offense, but hold the 15th scoring D. Each of the last six Super Bowl champions had a top 10 scoring offense and defense that championship season. Well, we are set for round four of Joe Burrow versus Patrick Mahomes. Burrow's 121 passer rating against Mahomes is the best among the 16 quarterbacks to face Mahomes multiple times. And Joey B's 126.6 passer rating back in week 13 well, that's the highest allowed by the Chiefs this season. Burrow and Mahomes are the only players in the NFL with 10,000 passing yards and a 100 or better passer rating over the last two seasons, as the pair also rank one and two in QB wins since 2021. They are also the only QBs in the Super Bowl era that have won at least 75% of their starts with a passer rating of 95 or better in the postseason. Now this will be the fifth playoff game in NFL history between the two top quarterbacks in yards per game for the regular season. But over the last two seasons, well, it's been a tale of two halves for the two quarterbacks. Burrow leads the NFL in passer rating in the second half in overtime, while Mahomes has averaged a lower yards per game, pass attempts, touchdown to interception ratio, and passer rating in the second half in overtime against Cincinnati compared to any other opponents. And in the last three outings against the Bengals, Mahomes has thrown zero touchdowns and two interceptions in the final two quarters and overtime. Now as for two of their favorite targets, Jamar Chase and Travis Kelsey have established themselves as two of the best pass catchers in the postseason. Since entering the league in each of their respective seasons, Chase and Kelsey rank first at their position in receiving yards, receptions, and are both in the top three for touchdowns. In three career games against the Chiefs, Chase's 139 yards per game average is the most all-time against Kansas City. Well, Bengals receivers led the NFL this season with a combined 25 touchdowns, as the connection between Burrow and T. Higgins is a big reason why. Since 2021, when aligned wide, Burrow has averaged a 123 passer rating when targeting Higgins. That's second highest among all receivers in the NFL. And when aligned wide this season, Higgins is the only receiver in the league with at least five touchdowns and zero interceptions. Now, as for the defense, the Bengals have been dialing up the pressure on opposing quarterbacks. Against Buffalo, Lou Anarumo's unit pressured Josh Allen on over 39% of dropbacks. That is 11% higher than their average during the regular season, as Sam Hubbard, Trey Hendrickson, and B.J. Hill all recorded at least four pressures. Back in Week 13, the Bengals pressured Mahomes on 38% of dropbacks. That was a season high against the quarterback, as he went 1 for 9 for 19 yards and took two sacks during those plays. And over the last two postseasons, the defense has tightened it up in the second half. The Bengals have held QBs to under a 57 completion percentage and a 60 passer rating with a three touchdown to seven interception rate, as they have also recorded at least one takeaway in the last six postseason games. The Bengals and Chiefs kick off from Arrowhead Stadium for the AFC Championship just after 6.30 Eastern on Sunday. You can catch all the action on CBS or tune in to the Bengals Radio Network. I'm Marissa Contepelli, and this has been your Contepelli's Countdown presented by Betfred. And don't forget that sports betting is officially live in Ohio. Download the Betfred app today to get in on the action. The Bengals encourage you to gamble responsibly.